Okay, so um, this is part two now. Uh, we've dealt with Eric Clapton's part. Now we're going to do um, the other part, played by uh, Andy Fairweather Lowe, a Welsh guitar player, really, really good guitar player. Okay, so let's just um, refresh. Uh, the intro for um, both of them is actually exactly the same. Uh, this is the MTV Unplugged version, and actually uh, Eric starts it... The other guy comes in right here, and they just play in unison there, right? And then we're going to be in the verse, and he plays exactly the same as the first guitar part there. And like I explained in the first part of the video, and if you haven't seen that, it's a good idea to watch that as well, or actually maybe watch that before you watch this one, because uh, you know I'll go over all the alternate fingerings, right? If you're if you're find the thumb over is tough to do, you can. Um, there's different ways you can play those chords. I'll, I go over all that in the other video, anyways. So. Um, So we've got that lick, okay? So what that lick is, is we're going to slide up to a 7th fret B and E, and then back down to 5. So we're kind of going from 5 to 7. And then we're going to go, um, we're going to go B6, sorry, G6 and B7, and then G4 and B5. So we've got... And, you know, we want to pick every one of those, you know, and then we've got, right, so we're just on the A chord, really, just the D and the G, or the G and the B string, and then throw our little finger up here on the E note. Okay, real slow. And that's going to end up on that chord. Okay? And he goes like this. Right? Real simple, but really nice. You know, really fits perfectly. Um, open B. Right? So... on this E chord and while uh, Eric is gonna go right writing that E string what the other guy is gonna do is this okay and that you know stuff like that that's a sign of a real professional guitar player um, because he's just, you know, he knows how all these chords work. So what we've got, we're going to hit that B note on A2. Okay, and then the G and the B with our first and second finger. And then we're going to slide up with our third finger to A4 and hit the G and B on the second fret. And then slide up again and hit the G and the B here, uh, G4, B3. Okay, really nice, really smooth little part there. Okay, and then we're gonna... Okay, so that lick is, we're gonna start there and we're gonna go the G and the E string. G and the E, but up two frets. You could go just like that. Right? But, you know, that's just a personal choice. I like to do it this way. Okay. It's like an A chord, right? That's those sixth. You know, those six are just such an important tool to uh, to learn. Six, they come in everywhere and they sound great. Okay, so. 
and then we're this again. So now, uh, the next bit where Eric is going to go. In that form. Uh, and of course, I go over all this in the first video. Um, the other guy is going to do this. Because the chord change is F sharp, right? And then it's C sharp. Right? And that's like a C sharp, but without that in it. Barring on the first fret and uh, what is that? D3 and B2. So we've got, you know, bar here that's F sharp minor, C sharp, and then A7. Okay, and he's going to do this picking pattern. So that picking pattern is just, it's D, G, and then B and E together with the first and second fingers. So the thumb on the first two, fingers on the last two, back to the G. So we've got... You can just practice that on that chord, you know. Slide down to here, same thing. Slide down to the A7. And then we're on the F sharp seven, and we just double up what Eric is doing there, right? Okay, so. So that's how that bit goes. And then, actually, at that point, the song right there, before they repeat that verse, he does this slick. Okay, and that's hammer-ons, D string, D4, G4. those off. Pick the first one. Pull off. So. And then we've got the little solo, okay? And the solo goes like this. All right, so we're up here just on the ninth fret. Trill on the 10th to B10, and then 14, 12, 9 on the E string. So, okay, it's a little syncopated rhythm there, and actually, uh, I don't think I went over this in the, uh, the other parts, but the, the uh, rhythm guitar there would be... A little tap, sir. Right? And, and then we've got the sixth again. We're going to slide in from the ninth fret to the eleventh on the G string. Right? We've got that uh, E10. That's like a D chord, right? To an A chord.
Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to the lead. There's not much to that, but still, you know, really nice, sweet guitar playing there. And that is pretty well that whole part, because in the bridge... He just doubles um, Eric's part, right? You know, this obviously will make a lot more sense if you watch the first part first. Okay, but that's it. That's that's it for his playing. Great guitar player, you know. Really, uh, we just love those licks. Really, really, really nice playing. And of course, you know, once you master the uh, the basic part. Okay, and it'll, you know, really kind of bring it alive. I mean, you, you lose a bit of groove because you lose the bass and everything. But you kind of, you're adding quite a bit too, right? Okay, all right. Anyways, that's it for this one. Hope you get something out of it. Make sure you watch the first video too. And we'll talk to you next time.